Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoe Software. I want to show you how easy it is to use MDS2 with the new MDM service um, to automatically configure a Mac that has been enrolled in the uh, Apple Business Manager and uses device enrollment to automatically get its settings. So um, uh, let me show you a little bit how I have MDS set up. Um, so I've already set up the MDS, or sorry, the MDM service and I set up the initial MDM profile. This means that when the device is enrolled um, for the first time in this MDM server, it'll automatically push these settings out to it, as well as install packages, run scripts, user counts, the whole, the whole nine yards. Um, one of the additional things you get with device enrollment is that if the machine is brand new and going through the setup assistant, it'll automatically do the enrollment um, through the setup assistant. Um, and so the, this, this user will be able to enroll the device without really even realize that they're doing that and get all the software um, needed. So you can see this is some device enrollment general information. We'll see this is available when you click on get more information um, in, in the setup assistant. Um, you can also configure the setup assistant. So these are the way I'm basically telling it to skip all of the different um, setup assistant uh, screens. Um, except the ones that are required, which is, I think, keyboard, language, and, and that's it. It'll also skip the privacy um, for when they log in their account. I'm going to be installing some packages, scripts, and profiles. It'll basically install Google Chrome and uh, Monkey, the client management software, so we can get the um, software center. So it's a self-service portal um, to be able to do. And also it's going to enable ARD, which is kind of nice. Um, under user accounts, I'm going to create a local admin account, which we'll be using to log in. And it's set to not prompt to uh, add any users. So this will be automatically created and the person will have to create any accounts. And we're going to configure the monkey client automatically. So um, we can go ahead and download software from the managed software center. And we're also going to turn on SSH, screen sharing, and Apple remote desktop. I won't click on update because I've already pushed this up to the server. Um, and so all those resources are shared out through a web server that's built into MDS. Um, so I have a machine here that's uh, just been, Mac OS has been installed. It's going to, starting going through the setup assistant. So I'll just choose my um, uh, language and then my keyboard. And then it's, it detects that I'm under remote management or have the possibility for doing that. And I could say learn more about it. This is the, the information I was talking about before where it, it displays this, just tells the user who's actually going to be managing, the, managing this machine. So I'll click on continue. And so they'll go up and look at the uh, device enrollment record uh, to Apple that'll tell this machine where the MDM server is. And then it'll go ahead and enroll in the server, download all the resources and install them, um, as well as do the configurations. Um, it is prompting for the time zone because this is running in a VM. It doesn't um, able to detect this automatically. Normally you wouldn't have this. So that's it. Now the Mac is being set up. So if you imagine a remote employee that was receiving a machine that was sent out directly from Apple and the company was part of, uh, it had um, set up Apple Business Manager and the, the device, this Mac is automatically enrolled in uh, device enrollment. It's very seamless, right? You, the user just gets it, walks through the setup assistant, and then they get to the login window. They just put in their, their username and password. So this is the TC admin user I created. So I'll just put in my password. And it shouldn't prompt me for any of the privacy uh, opt-in panes because I, I opted out of those by configuring the setup assistant. So it should just go through and uh, set up the user account and then I'll be ready to start the user session. All right, it's all done. You can see in the upper right hand corner that I've got these uh, the, the binoculars, so that means Apple Remote Desktop is working. If I go into System Preferences, um, I can see under Profiles that I am indeed, uh, the enrollment profile has been done, which means I'm under M, uh, MDM Management. And if I go back to MDS, I can refresh this. I can see that this device here has, um, it just was enrolled, so it's the last week's update is 11.58, which is just a couple minutes ago. And if I double click on that and click on Update, It'll get the most recent information, tell me what profiles are installed, um, what security information is done, how many certificates. Um, so it, it populated all that information. So um, the uh, you can also send MDM commands to it. So under MDM, we can say restart device as an example. There's also some other MDM commands where we can 
shut down the device or install profiles. We're kind of expanding on those options as we go forward. But you can see that since I selected restart, I switched back to it after a few seconds, it will restart this device. Um, and that shows that I can send MDM commands directly to it. Um, so I, I sent that MDM command. So the next thing we'll do is we'll go in and we'll look at the, uh, make sure the software got installed as long as, as well as the uh, software, uh, or sorry, the uh, managed software uh, portal to allows you to do self-service installation of software. All right, I'm back at the login window. So let me just put in my password. Okay, and now I'm able to, um, I'll go and look in the applications folder. And I should see Google Chrome. There it is, that's been installed. And I will look for Managed Software Center. And that's been installed. So I will open that up. And it should go and, and look up under the monkey server, which is running um, as part of MDS and see what software is available. And so we can look and see that I have a bunch of different softwares available. Like for example, if I want to install Microsoft Office, I would just click on install. And since that's being downloaded in the background, I can just close it. So Managed Software Center is a great way to offer um, ways for users to automatically or select which software they want to install. And it gets pushed out in the background and installed. Uh, finally, the last thing I'll show you is, um, it is Apple Remote Desktop has been turned, around, turned on as well. So I didn't need to do anything to enable that. So if I go to, uh, let me refresh the network here. And then it should be able to connect up to that MacBook Pro um, and then be able to screen share. Um, and it was all configured through the uh, that initial configuration that was gotten from the MDM server. And there we go. So that's all done. So that's screen sharing to that device. And let me just go ahead and send it uh, MDM command to shut it down. Select it here, MDM command, shut down device. There we go, that's been shut down, um, or it's gonna shut down momentarily. So that just shows you that using MDS2 with the new uh, MDM service um, allows you to, very e to, to allow users to set up their own machines, um, especially if you're leveraging the Apple Business Manager, Apple School Manager, that has the uh, device enrollment program associated with it. Makes it very easy to set up this initial MDM profile to push out the software. You can also use it in combination with workflows that um, are, are, are um, still part of MDS um, that allows you to preload all the different software. But this is a great way to be able to kind of bootstrap that process so the user initi initialize, or initiates it to, to get all the uh, software and user accounts and and, uh, and the Managed Software Center installed. So thanks very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check back for more videos. Have a great day.